Hey there, and welcome back to Trainwreck, an educational monster train series where I struggle at around 200 pack shards. We've been having a lot of accidental train wreck episodes lately. Things kind of, in a lot of cases, if the run is strong enough, they're naturally gravitating towards being played at 200 shards. It's kind of an interesting evolution of my gameplay style. I think one thing I used to do a long time ago is I would actively avoid pack shards unless I considered them necessary. And I would always target only 100 pack shards. And... The main reason I did that, and is the only real reason I did that, was because I was very, very focused on playing conservatively and safe. I wanted the bosses to be as difficult as I needed them to be, and no more. The other part was that I just simply didn't have as much practice as I needed in order to ensure that I understood how difficult things were at higher pack shard thresholds. Now I have a better grasp of that, having done it a lot, thanks to Trainwreck. So, in a lot of cases, if I can get value out of pack shards, I'll take them, right? At all. Any kind of value. Now, I don't consider something like Train Steward self-infuse good value. I consider that bad value. 25 pack shards for a removal is very inefficient when you normally only pay 10 pack shards for a removal. The only time I consider that is if I desperately need the removal in some cases, or if I'm actively pushing in a train wreck episode, for instance, to reach 200 in a run that otherwise might not. So, kind of an interesting evolution. I think we've gotten to the point where I feel reasonably confident that I can crush pretty much most of these runs. There are some pretty rough ones, though. I've also had some train of thought episodes lately that have been just really difficult to the extent that I think 200 pack shards might have been a loss. So, kind of interesting in that respect seeing the evolution of my gameplay over time i had a moment where i was thinking about that because some comments actually came up talking about it and it's a great point yeah things have changed i have I, with no changes to the game whatsoever i have in ways changed the way i play so kind of cool Anyway, what are we doing? This is a train wreck episode, and our previous run was with Prince, so we will be moving on to Sentient. Right now, though, our Prince run was pretty good. We got we ended up tossing him aside in favor of some branded warrior infused glare minders that had multi-strike and quick. We were supporting them with an Ashes of the Fallen Welder Helper that was self-infused. We also had an Impsicle in there too, and an Eternal Kinstone with Karuska extracts. So a lot of a lot of armor generated in order to keep my guys alive and also finding ways to kill my own imps was another big part of it so but pretty good we had the offense to make it work so i just simply had to focus on the defense there now we get to play sentient which is we're starting to get into the bosses and the bosses the champions that feel pretty weak in general i'm never a big fan of sentient tethys penumbra these are this is the trifecta of terror in my random my rotating random streaks and things i'm not always so stressed about it because i allow resets on this particular series but i always get diced about it when it comes to the actual train of thought episodes right i always kind of have to jazz myself up like whoo whoo you got this right but regardless that's all, that's all I've got to say, so let's go ahead and play some Monster Train. As always, do like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Let's do it. Click on the buttons. Rock on. Quick intros. All right, hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing okay. Doing all right. Nothing too crazy to report. What is this? It's a weird run, but I'm interested. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I guess we can go ahead and get started. I don't really have anything else to add. I'm just kind of recording some stuff today, making some progress on my... I don't even want to call it a backlog anymore. At this point, I'm just recording for the next week, so we're not too terribly far out. But yeah, today we are Default Awoken Exile Melting, which gives us primitive molds, which is fun. We'll be facing Double Barrel Daedalus, Rage Fell, and... Mm, unfortunate. Diligent Seraph, in my train of thought. You hate to see it. Or rather, Train Wreck. We have Wildwood Sap, Draft, and Preserved Thorns. A good opener, right? Consume cards, some healing. Preserved Thorns is great for Seraph. Draft in general is fantastic. So not too terribly much to offer besides good opener. I like it. Temples today are on three, four, six, seven, and eight. Five temples is always fantastic, and it's a pretty decent spread, which means that we have good options for playing shards late if I need to and still reaching the 200. 
Dupe on 8 is on Magic side. Seems fine. Nothing special. Another dupe on 7 with a Horde. There's a Trinket Shop with money on 7 too. And a Vortex. So pretty decent if we can afford anything. Steel and Magic on 6. Steel Shop has Horde. Magic the Vortex. Sure, sure. Nothing fun. Another good Magic Shop. Good Magic Shop's a lot of these actually. Interesting. Huh. Look at that. Another good one on 5 with Vortex. We have a Steel Shop that's again mediocre, but it has a cave at least. Steel, this time with the Vortex on four. Good Steel Shop allocation means we don't get double Steels early. We do actually get double Magic Shops, oddly enough. It seems to be counting the Ring 7 lack of Magic as a reason for that. Curious. I won't say no, I suppose, because we do get a Remnant Banner on both the Steel on two and the Magic on three, if I want to go that way. There's an Awoken Banner on the Magic on two if I want that, so... Interesting. Well, we'll see what we're shown. Light's Gift with Sentient is always risky, simply because if you end up on Cultivating, there's not much you can really do here. If I see Spikes, it's fine. It's very strong in general. I think for most of my Melting lines, like Paraffin Enforcer or, Tyke, or like, what am I trying to say? Wickless lines, Tycoons, Tycoons, not Tycoons, Barons. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't mean I wouldn't be able to kill my own units, I'm leaning actually towards Hell's Banners here. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to take Hell's Banners and skip Light's Gift. We'll take the other Horde. First Hell Pact is pretty hard to skip on a situation like this. Cleansing Water is very powerful. Encased Ember is good, but I don't have a lot of control over seeing those. I'm going to just take first Hell Pact. All I have to do is see either Spike and we're pretty happy about it. It's better than Cleansing Water, I think. Hmm. Yeah, we get Cultivating, so I'm glad I didn't take the Light's Gift there. I'm okay with Hell's Banners. Light's Gift's very good, except in this one situation. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Mark of Invasion, take this trade here. We'll go Sentient into Train Steward. We'll do a big heal here. We take... Unfortunately, we do take a chunk of damage, but this is worth it to get us ahead. I think I'm fine with that. Tell you what, we are, uh, we do give up the collector, unfortunately. I don't know what else to offer here. It's a lot of scaling, though. It's one of the reasons I like it, is I'm trading nine in a lot of ways, but I'm getting a ton of scaling. I do get some stings upstairs, which is important. We'll take that. I'm actually going to sting something. Take the one. It doesn't matter when I take the one. I want to avoid a lot of that damage. This is good. Let's go ahead and play the draft just to get it killed. I could put that upstairs. But what I wanted really to do is primitive mold it back here. And then we can sting. We make good progress on this. So... Now, unfortunately, this dude does burn out, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's fine. We have enough regen. I have basically no fear here. Take 10 on the combat. It's all right, right? I'm not upset about it. Get the regen. All good. If I get a reform on that dude, we're looking real good. Yeah, I mean, we win actually anyway, but this works out to our advantage. So, unfortunately, we take the 10. We get the trial... It may be more secure into the Relentless. I probably could have not taken the trial, but you never know. I'm going to grab Glimmer. It's a good plus 30, 10 in piercing target. Good holdover target. Good spell for Diligent. We should grab Hallow Drippings here, I think. Hallow Drippings is solid if I end up on a burnout line. Purifying Cleanse also good, but the Drippings I like. It's low opportunity cost. Goes away if I don't want it. We'll go left for the Steel Shop. See what we hit. Large stone. Interesting. Let's take this artifact. Channel Heart is online with the Preserved Thorns. Winged Indulgence, Hammered Chest Plates. I'll take the Channel Heart, sure. Banner situation. Oh, Big Sludge. Big Sludge is good. Yeah, we'll take a Big Sludge. I'll re-roll on Big Sludge, see if I hit a multi. I don't. I unfortunately can't afford the Endless. Not that it matters. I don't actually want it. So I guess we chill here and move on. Sludge is fantastic if I roll multi-strike in a sweeper or something. He's very tanky. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this. Mm, Spike's Trial is actually kind of scary here. 
I can take it, right? I think I can take this. Sludge is pretty solid. Yeah, how do I want to approach this? The problem with sludge, as is the problem with all sludge-related things, is I need to actually get units shot, right? Important detail. Units must die. Now, I'm doing this in a weird way, specifically with the hope of actually successfully scaling my floor. 12, 2, 1. Get, he kills himself on spikes. It's fine. I can take out the front fellow here, which is pretty good. Let's do that, actually. Play the Wildwood Sap downstairs. Yeah, okay, fine. I lose the Collector, unfortunately. I was hoping it would be upstairs. My whole goal here is basically get Big Sludge rolling, right? Get him rolling here. Okay, he looks pretty good. He gets great rage stacking from that. I don't think we stand a chance of winning on bottom. Primitive Mold upstairs. Pretty solid. Hit the Preserved Thorns. We're going to pummel the bosses here. Decent. Doesn't change anything. I'll put the Hallow Drippings down just in case it matters. Okay, so it's not great. We do make some progress downstairs at least. A Glimmer on middle takes out a lot of the risk there. I hit the primitive mold. You never know what you're going to run into. Eh, it does 18 damage. It's pretty decent. Big Sludge should absolutely crush this man. And he 100% does. So, great work. Cool. Good stuff. Neat. Alright, we get out of it. We miss the collector, but we get the trial. I'm going to take the razor sharp here. It's solid. I like that. Molten encasement is a good tomb. It's a good survival tool for Sludge if I don't want to put him with Sentient. Molded, not bad. Purifying Cleanse, I think, is actually maybe the hit here. I'm going to grab that. What do I roll into? A Divine Artifact. Divine Advanced Prototype is hard to skip. I'm going to grab that. It secures my Ring 3. And I'm going to go left here to look at the other Remnant Banner. See if we hit something really cool. It's Permafrost. Minus two, ten in piercing. I think that's going into the glimmer. Remnant Banner today says Lady of the House. It's not bad. I think we go Lady of the House here. And we're going to go ahead and do one of the drafts into her. Because that makes... She is a very solid backline for a lot of things. We're going to take the minus two on Razor Sharp. Spell Chain it later, maybe. Ten in piercing the glimmer. It's very hard on pack shards, but I think it's a really good pickup. I'm going to take minus ones somewhere. Hard to say where. Maybe like a minus one plus ten on a restore is fine here. Acceptable. And then we'll spin this, see what we hit. Double stack. Could have done a minus two double stack Wildwood Sap, but I don't think that's actually that helpful. I'm going to 20 consume one of the restores, take a minus one into... What? I'll put it into a restore, sure. And then we chill here, I think. Take the event. Spell Rail Spike versus Monster Rail Spike. I have enough units here. That we're not really worried. I'm going to go ahead and burn a train steward here. We have one super steward. It's fine. We'll move on. I feel confident in this combat for sure. Now, depending on whether we are confident enough into the next few combats, we'll kind of dictate some choices I can make. We're going to play sentient bottom floor. I don't really want to give him the rage. I guess it doesn't matter too terribly much. We could put a middle. We'll put a middle. Sure. Why not? Big stew downstairs actually just clobbers some dudes. That's fine. Sure. Seems okay. Alright, we're going to put Sludge upstairs, and I'm going to blast this thing, which is great. 
I'm gonna work on bottom floor here. We actually, the guy clears the whole floor downstairs. Train steward too strong. That's okay though. Huge stew downstairs, just completely crushing it. Dang, I mean this is big numbers, I guess. Hard to say no to this situation. Definitely really strong here. Steward crushes everything. Yeah, I don't know what else to really add besides... Seems decent, right? Bottom floor completely slams. Top floor, we sting this out, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and play the draft here. It burns out. That's good, too. Heal on bottom. Kills a guy straight up. All right, fair enough. I mean, we're looking pretty good, if I'm being honest with you here, so... Now, unfortunately, one play in the back gets an extra, like, huge amount of damage here. I'm going to go ahead and toss Draft in front here for, yeah, truckloads of damage. Cool. Train stewards have gone mad with power, and then I think we win on middle pretty easily. Yeah. Good stuff, in fact. Great. Bop. We didn't even need the sludge there, which is fine. I'm still looking for him as an option for my run. Awoken Rail Spike. Got that first hell pack. Go ahead and click it. It's good. They show me a Paraffin Enforcer. Now, this is cooking, right? How do I want to approach this? Do we take the Paraffin Enforcer and pivot somewhere? I have a draft. It's good, right? Just grab that, I think. Take card draw here. Pretty decent. Card draw is pretty good. I don't think I need anything else. I can get away with Ember if I need it, but I don't think I need it. Let's take the card draw now. The question you have to ask yourself is, do I go right and look for something to put big sludge into, which is strong, or do I just give up on that and go with draft paraffin enforcer as my line look left. And I think it is look left here, actually. So this is my current thought process. Yeah, the multi, okay, we're golden, right? We're looking good. Plus 30 on the glimmer for sure, 100%. I'm gonna go ahead and take, and do enforcer into draft here. This seems odd, but it's really good in fact. For a few reasons. The main, we're gonna cut Sludge, he's out. Now, we're also gonna cut a Stew, he's out. Our plan here is we multi and plus 25 here. We're gonna dupe the Draft Enforcer. You may ask why I've done this. My goal here is basically play, take space, play middle, and have two Draft things behind Sentient. Oh my gosh, they're only two space altogether. So I could have three draft things behind Sentient playing space there, which is pretty great. Or if I see a good solution for top floor divinity, skip space, take draw, play that. I can always do the the lady of the house is going to do fine for a lot of like generic purpose stuff. So I think that's good. Cool. And then if I see any extra dupes, I'll just drop those into... If I see any extra dupes, I'll drop those into the glimmers, right? I think. Seems fine. Cool. We should be strong. Ah, yes. A scary floor. It's actually not too scary if I play bottom into it, which should be okay. On this particular one, we can do sentient plus this thing doesn't do a lot, but it does do something. Managed to push most of the way through that guy. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and hit that rail spike here. Man, really? Dang. Okay. Fair enough, I suppose. Drop this man. I was hoping for, you know... Glimmer, Preserved Thorns, but no, I guess I just missed the Collector and feel bad about this whole situation. We do get the Draft, at least. We're going to use Hell's Banners properly here. Preserved Thorns clears... 
top. I'll glimmer middle here. It's good. Heal bottom. All right. The floors are looking okay, I suppose. I get a sting. I can push top floor down sub 30, which I'll take. Big regen plays. I actually think we want a primitive mold. I don't think I can get him. Can't get that kill, which is okay. It's fine, I suppose. I'll take it upstairs. It'll burn out. It's fine. I take 11 here, it looks like. That's what I get for playing bottom, but I opted for bottom very intentionally. So I this is not... This is not me having chose wrong or something. I didn't want to deal with all these curses. I would have been slowed down pretty rough. Also, this guy is a real threat. This guy being this boss absolutely crushes here. And we get away with this because he's bottom floor, basically. Yeah, looks fine. We also took armor, which did cost us a little bit. I think it's worth it. We get the money out of it. So, all good. We missed the trial, the collector rather, again, which is a huge bummer. I'm actually going to grab a second Preserve Thorns, Channel Heart plus it's Diligent. This kind of answers a lot of problems. Seems good. Resin Removal, Snap Click. It's must be clicked. I'm Diligent. Crystal Cloak's coming up. Easy. All easy decisions. No dupes yet. That's okay. Magic Shop. How are we feeling about Magic Shop here? Remove Consume could do a lot of good. I suppose we'll go. Yeah, check it out. Removal, can't say no. You gotta remove Consume? No? Eh, whatever. Not a, not really worried about it. Minus one on anything. Make Resin Removal free, of course. Plus ten. Whatever, spin that. Remove Consume on an Awoken's Rail Spike. Jeez, I feel like I'm just seeing all the good stuff here today. Make the other restore free, I suppose. I might cut it. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like I had this exact same build, like, just the other day in something else. Do I need these train stewards? I'm going to double dupe here, maybe. Oh, I have so many things. No, I don't need these train stewards. We're easy clear this. Getting a small deck is very good anyway for drawing the draft quickly. Take the trial, no problem. I'll play top floor here. I think that should be okay. Drop them all down. Get rid of the Ember Drain. Let it ride. If I need to reform something, I'm not upset about it. We'll blast middle. Excellent. I'm going to draw three cards. Who are we shooting? I'm a little slow right now. We'll shoot middle, and then I'll hit that rail spike. We do actually see the draft, though, so it's fine. Cool. Excellent work. Now I'm looking for... There it is. I was going to say, Burnout Extenders. Important. Burn some cards. They're good. Draw two. We hit the Glimmer, actually, which is pretty nifty. Burn bottom floor out. And, yeah, Crush, I think. Seems good. Yeah, we get the Hallow Drippings here. Fantastic. We'll play some heals middle just to... You know, make some progress there, but this floor should blast right now, right? I have no doubts in my mind. Yeah, what, eight, eight, good. I'll burn this out. I'm going to blow up mid-floor, actually, and then we're going to just shoot top floor. Seems decent. We have a lot of stings. I'm not mad about it, though. It's fine, in fact. It's probably better than fine. Yeah, it's probably fine. All right, just heal upstairs. Looking good. Probably cut most of these primitive molds in the end. So I'm not terribly worried about it. Sting, sting, sting. It's good. Sting the boss. Razor sharp. All good. And this should be a crush, right? Yeah. We actually managed to lose Sentient, which I was not expecting. Maybe we can save her, but... I wasn't, I wasn't expecting that math. Regardless, we're fine, but dang. Yeah, it takes two whole rounds, so fair enough, but. Sending it's durable. We'll need to think about that a little bit, though. 
Awake? Nah, I don't think so. Pyrogro is not a bad play, but you can quickly see that I'm not really using a lot of Ember, so we'll just go ahead and hit this skip, I think. That's all right. Do I answer Diligent? That's a good question. Probably with the double Preserved Thorns, and I am going to grab Crushing Demise, so that seems good. All right. Again, my next dupe, my dupes are all on rings seven and eight, so we kind of just need to cruise here for a bit. How many spells have I got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-five, twenty-seven. Remove cards, please. That's really all I have to say is remove cards, please. Yeah, twenty consume a restore, sure. Well, I'm not happy about it. Let's look and see if I get a minus two here. That would be cool. Yeah, great. Look at that. X plus four Awoken Rail Spike. Is it good? Yes. Let's purge a Primitive Mold. I won't need this many. That's a good pickup. We'll look at the cave real fast. Heaven's Gold. Might as well take it. Anything walks on me. I could take Gift of Gratitude. It's worth a lot. It's a lot of money. I will actually take Gift of Gratitude thanks to the first Hell Pact here. It's pretty strong. Magic Shop. I'll buy minus ones. They're good. We should click them when they're shown. Reroll here. Holdover Crushing Demise is pretty awesome. We'll grab that. I'm going to make a minus one in what? Put a plus 10 in this other restore. We'll do that. I, mean, I have enough minus ones I've probably purchased something with. I'm, I'm a little reluctant to just cut a bunch of stuff, but I don't hate the idea of it. I'm going to drop two primitive molds here. We should leave at least a couple in in case of emergency. It's one of those in case of emergency break glass moments, but I don't need to spend this minus 25 here. We'll move on. I bought this all right. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, seems decent. What else do we have to work with here? We should crush Fell. I don't have a lot of worries about this. What is this? What is she, Rage Fell? She is Rage Fell. I guess we'll just play upstairs. Seems fine to me. Blast this out. I'm going to sting middle here. Hold on to the hollow drippings. Cool. Good stuff. Crush middle, it's fine. We're going to save the Gift of Gratitude here for a better turn. I'll play the Preserved Thorns. Blast middle, and then we're going to draw four. We do see the Paraffin Enforcer. It's good. Great news, blow up middle. Chill. Good turn. We're going to draw very fast here is kind of the main goal of everything. Just absolutely send it. Ah, I was going to see if I was going to crush the other way around, but it's fine. This glimmer goes upstairs for sure. Play this out, burn some cards, sting here, crush middle, good roll. Draw six. Yeah, this gets... Pretty exciting, pretty quick, huh? Pushing a lot of free damage in. This will get even better once I actually see my dupes. You know? Once I see them. Blast middle. This could just be my... Gift turn. I'll take it. Yeah, sure. Crush middle, fine. Sting, draw a bunch. There's a possibility I could have done a stronger floor over... A stronger gift overall. I'd waited for a particularly good Hell's Banners turn, but I really don't see any reason to do that. Just sting the heck out of this. Seems good. Alright, top floor is a nice pick here. Big fan of that. We're going to go ahead and Resin Removal to save that. Sting, Sting does push more numbers through. We love to see it. I'm going to blast the boss. And then what? Draw seven? I'm going to crush middle first, then draw seven in case I, yeah, I redraw the crush. Which is cool. 
We're just gonna sting the boss a bunch here. I'm actually gonna let this guy walk on me here and crush bottom floor because I'd like to have things that I can have my draft attack. I think that provides a lot of value here. I'll just go ahead and rail spike here. I mean, at this point, I'm just actually going to be doing hundreds of damage to the boss with stings, which is pretty cool, I think. So, neat. Yeah, see, we're like generating a lot of rage by letting him go. So, it's easy to not think about that option, but we definitely should just keep stinging the boss actually disgusting how much damage we've done with sting here same thing again more rage this should now be free yeah we are taking a lot of damage believe it or not so something we'll need to think about a little bit is how do we not lose our floor but we're otherwise okay that's just one round rage fell does a hundred damage there which is pretty crazy so I will take Wax and Spike 100%. That is free damage. Absolutely. Is it space? And then we just win pre-relentless or play bottom or something else? I think so, actually. We take the space here, play three guys behind on middle, potentially. I like being able to play middle here because Sentient gets hit twice. It's the least threatening. We'll go left. We're chasing this. It's all good. Winged Steel is free card draw. It's great. I love that for me. We'll take big Sentient here. Huge Sentient. Spell Chain. Got it on the Razor Sharp. I could put it on a Wax and Spike, though. Let's purge a Primitive Mold here, I think. We're going to Spell Chain. Ooh, I like that Wax and Spike. I actually do like this Razor Sharp Edge. This is some fast scaling, though. We'll take that. The dupe here is, you guessed it, the draft buddy. Moving on, we're already over 200. At this point, yeah, see, Spikes 5 is actually a little scary here, so we need to think about that for longer than 10 seconds. Don't play bottom. I had to think about that for like 10 seconds, and I was like, ah, don't do that. That is a mistake. We're going to hunt this guy down to the best of our ability. We take an Ember Drain, but it shouldn't be too bad. Play one Draft Crush Middle. Okay. Decent. I want to play the Preserved Thorns to guarantee money. Good. Hit the Rail Spike. Ah, bummer. He's on the bottom. That's okay. We're going to chill on these plays. Wait for the full floor. All right, there it is. Sting, 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 sting. Crush. Ah, bad RNG. We're going to go ahead and resin removal bottom floor because it scares me. I should draw pretty much everything here. Yeah, all the tools. Great. I was over here like, I don't know, are we going to burn out or something? But we're actually just super fine. So, not a problem. We're going to sting up here because I don't want to take 40 damage. Mid-floor, I'm okay taking that hit, I think. I'm going to cr ah, crush it. Nope, you're right. I'm going to crush it. Draw cards. Here is our Wax and Spike. Great work. Play it out. Glimmer bottom floor. Great job. Okay. Now, that does put Burnout on Sentient, which I now have to manage, which is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Should be okay. I might be able to sting this guy into oblivion, actually, which is cool if true. We'll crush bottom. Oh, that's a great hit. Yeah, we actually can just, I think, sting this man into death, which I'm super pleased with, in fact. So that's cool. We like to see that. And then the rest of this is just clicking cards. No spikes on anything. We let this guy walk up, hit us, and that's fine. It's good scaling, right? It's fine. I'm going to leave those guys bottom floor and not crush them. You may ask why. The answer is actually simple. I just want to make sure I'm propping up the rage generation on them. That's it. We're all caught up on burnout as well, so seems good. 
All right, resin removal the boss, cutting 20 rage, let top floor slide. Do a ton of stinging downstairs, because you might as well. Would that I could crush the boss, but I can't. This should be no real problems, I think. Yeah, we have it. This is free scaling upstairs, fantastic news. I think we can just press end turn here, if I'm being honest with you, but... I'm not going to overly disrespect. There's no reason to do it. So I won't. We actually generate a respectable amount of regen as well, actually. Cool. All right, I think we get through it. Man is missing, what, like 500 health here? Seems good. Press and turn. I don't feel like clicking the buttons. Great job. It's a good floor. Okay, and then we make another one, and that should clean up a lot. Do I need preserved thorns? Math this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen, twenty-two. No, I don't need another one. Twenty-six. I have too many cards. Too many cards. Votivary, not a bad pick. Wicked Blaze, it's a good, decent card, but I don't need it. Skip it. I think we're fine. We should have all the tools we need. I'm going to go left. Easy. Temple says, what? Spell chain on... I get it on the wax and spike again, apparently. Tenon piercing. I don't really feel like that adds a lot of value. I can probably click it, though. I could just take Golden Vault here. Anything that walks on me... Yeah, I mean, that's actually great. Anything that walks on me suffers. Remove, consume. Oh, man. Remove, consume, wax, and spike. All right, you sold me on that. The rest of this, I mean, I want to dupe draft again, and I will do it. This puts me at sentient plus three drafts on middle on divinity we have to basically throw away the lady i guess she can just kind of stay in the deck and punch things she isn't hurting anything right there's no downside to her presence i'll go ahead and toss 10 and piercing into the purifying cleanse just for the magic power 245 out of 100 high pack shards feeling good about this though i can and should consider re-rolling here there are possibilities of things i could hit that are strong I mean, sap taps, card draw. All right, we'll take it. Great, 500 is enough. We'll move on now. Good choice. You know, getting a free card draw out of that is well worth it, I think. We actually draw really well here, by the way. I'm hitting, what, like seven cards once I play Sentient, and then eight and nine card draw is wild. Playing bottom floor is not actually risky here in kind of a weird sense but I don't want to do it. I'm not worried because I have resin removal. 15 stealth is normally terrifying. We'll play top floor, right? It's fine. I'll have Lady of the House kind of just chilling. I'm going to go ahead and use the preserved thorns here. Make some progress on it. Save the other restore. There's no reason to do anything fancy here, right? Right. Unfortunate card draws. We are going to play the draft because I need to. And I'm going to burn a restore because I can. I'm going to go ahead and hit the resin removal upstairs because it does tons of good work here. I would really like to glimmer and eat this one. So I think I will... Let's, I have a remove consume on the wax and spike, right? All right, so let's actually burn the hollow drippings here just to be safe. There's no reason to take that risk. And the rest of this, I'm just going to burn on bottom. I realize I take self mutilation for it and that is straight up money being burned, but it's okay. Diligent is dead and doesn't really know it yet. All right. Self-mutilation out. Preserved thorns is the burn here. We're going to shoot bottom floor with this. Make some headway. Great. We'll crush. Good. Excellent news. In fact, feeling decent about that. 
hit the regen out. I'm gonna go ahead and take the rail spike here, which should hit, yeah, it gets my other draft in the pool. Fantastic. We're going to remove resin here, and then we can drop double wax and spike plays. And sting what, mid floor? Doesn't matter. It's a lot of incoming damage, but we do a ton of damage in response. So we're scaling well. Let's burn the wildwood sap. Big heals necessary, I think. Yeah, I think we want... Do we want a glimmer upstairs? We're okay. No reason to take these hits, I think. We can crush. We actually can just let them walk. I don't need the crushing demise at all here. Save the consumers, I think. Yeah, this seems okay. So, we're just going to let this ride. They get some free scaling coming out of this. Next time Diligent comes upstairs. Alright, he's having a bad day. Burn a consumer here, which is good. Play out the curses. Seems good. Our whole goal here is essentially to guarantee that we clobber. Alright, I don't think we actually get the clobber that we want, but I will play the Waxen Spike. I was hoping to push more damage into the boss here, but unfortunately it does not appear that we will be doing so. That's okay. Crush bottom. Actually, we hit that guy at least, so great news. Cool. This is a lot of damage we're moving. Not actually worried about this combat at all at this point. Burn a consumer. It's good. We're going to put Razor Sharps in the back now. Let's go ahead and just get rid of Wilt Wings when we can. It's fine. Play the Glimmer, I guess. I'm crushing because I can, not because I need to. It's fine. Getting rid Crushing doesn't actually help. In fact, it probably hurts. But that's okay. We don't ask these questions. We're not worried about it. It's fine. I guess I'm going to play Big Wax and Spike here. Seems decent. And then I'll draw four... Still seems decent. Crush bottom because I could hit the guilt, the purifier, which was the hope. I guess I can bring back the lady of the house. There you go, bud. All right. Cheap swings, I suppose. I could think of worse things. Let's work on middle here. Actually, I'm just going to glimmer middle. It's fine. Cool. We'll crush bottom. Also fine. Great. I'm not afraid. We only have to take one round of damage from Seraph, so really, like, there's no fear involved at all. I'm just gonna crush bottom, get rid of that dude entirely, start hitting the boss. We have Sentient is doing 200 damage at this point, so, you know, there's that benefit to the Waxen Spike as well. Here, get him, lady. You got this, 100%. Oh no, what happened? This should be free. Yeah, in fact, it is free. You just sting here. We do astronomical amounts of damage right now. Draw six for funsies. Just make sure to play the Vengeful Shards so I don't take obnoxious, irresponsible amounts of damage. One round and then I think he's gone, right? Yeah, it's simply too much rage. It's going to be even better on the Divinity, so... I don't mind blank page, just send it. You know, I do have reforms in the deck, I probably should skip it, but it's fun, right? It's just a fun thing to take, and I don't think it's that detrimental in this instance. We're not reliant on reforms necessarily, though we do have them. So, it's a great turn one. I get to play middle confidently, which is fantastic news. Draw a card, cool. Sting bottom floor, draft. Lady person can be played. She passes away. Oh no, it's fine. Crush bottom floor. We're going to go ahead and resin removal middle. And then I'm going to glimmer, see if I draw something good. I don't. Fortunate. We managed to push past this floor at least, which is good. Let's sting middle just in case. 
I could draw five. How do we feel about draw five? Let's draw four here. Yeah, okay. I was like, can I hit the other draft? And I absolutely can. Here we go. So then it's a big wax and spike turn. Cool. Now we're doing a lot of damage. And now we just super win. This is going to scale out of control very quickly. Cool. Sting once downstairs, then crush. Good rolls. Let's get rid of spikes just in case. I mean, I'm going to glimmer that anyway. It doesn't really matter. So whatever. It's fine. Do damage increase. Make bigger number. Spell chain everything. Great. Pushing almost 900 through to the boss there. Fantastic. Cool. With triple stings and then crush, we kill the mini boss. So that's... That is a decision. Echo right. Get him, I guess. Here, have a lady of the house. There you go. I would like to draw eight cards. Cool. Those are good things to have. Sting, sting, sting. Everything is excellent. I'm not going to play the crush here. There's no reason to. We have a whole floor clear next turn, which is funny and valid. Draw cards. We're going to sting the boss because I guess you might as well. I'll glimmer bottom floor because that's also funny. And then just hit that wax and spike twice, right? And crush because it kills a guy, which is probably worth more. Cool, we win next turn. Maybe I can sting the boss to death? Ah, uh, we get it. Hey, wait. You ever killed the boss with razor sharp edge? <laughs> I don't think I've done a razor sharp edge divinity kill before, but that's pretty neat. Good stuff. An awesome run. Really fast for me, actually. Very quick decision making and things. So, just not a lot of question marks about how to navigate this one once we saw the pieces. So, it was pretty much just get that draft set up and then wait and survive until we reached the dupes. 66k score is fantastic. We'll go to the run summary. I got to give a lot of credit to the random lady, the house draft infused, and she, sh she stuck around the whole run and was important. She contributed a very fair amount here. And not just in the end game, where actually she was dying pretty fast, but specifically in the mid game and early game, she was one, reliable, always on turn one. Two, we had space on the mid rings and didn't have the drafts, so it might as well put her down. She's literally two free hits. Great. The drafts, of course, these are nuts. We knew th the fact that we had the lady set up was the reason the draft was the target. We could delay long enough till we drafted these and then go completely crazy. Sentient ta face tanks on mid floor. Divinity stands no chance of pushing sentient with random heals. She simply has too much health. She's free card draw. Great. The rest of this is just abusing things like first hell pack plus double spikes, which we saw both of them and they were both excellent. Huge damage boost from Wax and Spike. What else? Anything else? Resin removal is probably... You know, a lot of folks are like, this is the best card at 200 shards. I don't think it's the best card. The reason it feels like the best card is runs like these, where you're like, I see Diligent Seraf, and he has 15 stealth stacks. How do I live? And the answer is resin removal. In a run like this, you snap click this with no questions asked, for sure. It's maybe top three, top five, maybe. It's hard for me to look at some of the other really excellent cards and not still think they're great. So, I don't know. Resin removal would benefit from, you know, it can still benefit from being better in a few ways. It could have a permafrost attached to it, something like that. It uh, could just be naturally free, you know. I, I think... There is value in keeping it non-consume. It's a fine card, right? I like it. It also gets rid of Ember Drain sometimes. You know, it's nice. I like this card. I think it's maybe top three, if I were picking. Now, what do I consider the top three cards? Man, I'd have to think about it. But I do think Resin Removal be belongs in that group, that category. There's a lot of things here that get escalated in high shards where Resin Removal solves them. Think about, like... Neffle, the champion on ring seven. That thing had 20 rage on whatever pack chart number I had. That's a lot. 
It's like most of its damage, in fact. You completely neuter it with a resin removal. And similar, right? You can have crazy Crystal Cloak stacks. You can have spikes out the wazoo on Steel Slate on the Divinity. And this basically kills him, really, because he's not very threatening without them. So there's a lot of things that this plays very strongly into. At 200 shards, that's less relevant at 100 shards. Kind of fun to think about. What else? Everything else here is pretty just straightforward stuff. The Glimmer did well. Just keep shooting enemies. A lot of card draw in this run, which is fun. Got a lot of value out of that. Uh, that X plus three gift of gratitude as well. And we had the Golden Vault, which still had plenty of hits remaining walking into the Divinity if I'd needed it. But I did not need it, so... Good stuff. Not much else to add here, so I'll let you go with this 50-minute episode. Incredible work. So, hey, thanks a lot for watching this. I really appreciate your time. As always, you can give the video a like if you want. You can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more, and stay tuned for what's next. Take care, folks.